Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number two. This time we're going to look at how you might do reflections on autograph. Um, so first thing, notice as we talked about last time I'm in standard mode and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a very simple shape. So I'm going to go over to my point tool over here. I'm going to click on it and I'm just going to put four points on my autograph page. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a shape out of those. So first thing I'm going to do is hit escape to get out of point mode and back into select mode. So I've got my white cursor. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to do a bit of marquee select. So I'm going to hold down my left um, mouse button and I'm going to drag a nice rectangle around here. Let go. All my points are selected. And if I right click, I should get group to shape. Now, that only worked because of the order that I'd clicked my points. If I'd have clicked them in a different order when I was uh, plopping them on the page, it would have all gone wrong. So just be careful with marquee select. The order is important. Okay, let's do a reflection. So the simplest way to do a reflection is to define a line. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in the line x equals minus 2. So I am going to go up to my enter equation button. I could also hit enter, which is a nice little shortcut. I'm going to type in x equals minus 2. I'm going to press OK. Now, if I was teaching here, I'd obviously get the kids to predict where they think it's going to go, but I think we all know where it is. There it goes there. Now, to do a reflection in autograph, just like in real life, you need to tell autograph the object you want to reflect and the line you want to reflect it in. So I'm going to just click randomly off the page to make sure nothing's selected or hit escape. And then I'm going to click on the center of my shape and I'm going to click on my line. Uh, notice, of course, I'm in whiteboard mode, so I don't have to hold down the shift button like we talked about last time. So with both of those selected, I'm going to right click and I should get the option to reflect. There it is, reflection. And there we go there. Now what's nice here, of course, is that I can move this object and I can see the effect it has on the reflected object. I can also move a point and get the students to predict which point's going to move. And I can mess around with that as much as I like. The downside is, of course, I can't move this line because it's defined as x equals minus 2. So let's have a look at an alternative to that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, go into point mode and I'm going to pop a point just down here at 1 minus 1. And with that point selected, I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose horizontal line. Now what's nice about this is, my line is now defined through my point, so if I move my point, my line also moves. So now same thing again, I'm going to reflect this pink or purpley object in this green line, so I'm going to select it, I'm going to select my line, the line's gone black, right click and I am going to get reflection. Click it, and now it's slightly off the page. Oh, which is quite a nice opportunity to say, if you want a bigger page, we can get rid of this key, this kind of blank area at the bottom. If you just hover over it and right click and get rid of show key, that gives you a bit more page to work with or makes it a bit bigger. Um, so now, once again, I can move my original object. Notice I can't move my purple object because it's defined by my blue object, but I certainly can move my line and see the effect that that has. Okay, And the last thing is if I want even more flexibility in the line that I'm reflecting in, this is quite a nice thing to do. I can define a line by two points. So again, I'm going to go in point mode, and I'm going to put a point there at, what's that, minus 7, 2. And I'll also put a point here at, what's that, minus 5, minus 1. And this time, I'm going to go in select mode. I'm going to click away, make sure nothing else is selected. I'm going to click this point. I'm going to click this point. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to uh, select straight line. And now, I'm running out of time, so I'll have to go quick here. I'm going to select my object. I'm going to select my line. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to select reflection. But what's really nice here is I can move these points wherever I like, and I can see the effect that that has on my reflected object. So that's reflection, more transformations next week. See you next time, bye bye.